My bachelorette trip was with my friends last month. I was with a big group of friends and I think it was one of the most epic trips of my life. And this video is basically a sneak peek into everything we did there. Look it started off with them surprising got. me with bolos in Bali, hashtag luggage Wait, tags. Say hi. And then it sort of roller coasted into a bunch of other things. Keep watching. <laughs> The trip started off with getting super pampered at the first class lounge here in Mumbai at T2, courtesy my friend who is a travel agent whose details I'm leaving below in the info box. We started off with delicious food and a great massage and then of course we were ready to take off. Just got done with a fabulous session at the first class lounge that Cozy Travels sorted for us. And now we're running a little late. We're a little too late. Call. A little too late <laughs> for the Bali flight. See you guys in Bali. No, but we plan to stop in Singapore and go shopping. So if right. we do that, I'm gonna try and vlog At there as well. At six in the morning. <laughs> because why not? Changi Airport was amazing. There were a lot of high-end brands, lots of Gucci, Prada, Bottega Veneta. Um, Zara as well. Well, I got to browse a lot. Didn't unfortunately get to shop because we only had like an one and a half or two hour layover. But uh, it was time for Bali, so I was excited. We got into Bali and headed straight to Seminyak, which is where we were staying. We had a luxury, really, really beautiful villa waiting for us and we were all so excited to see what it was going to be like. It looked stunning in the pictures and it was nothing short of it. First look into the villa. <laughs> Let's jump into the pool! Four bedrooms, a lovely master bedroom that I was very nicely given with an open bathroom, a barbecue area, living area and the staff was absolutely amazing at Casa Brio. They made the most delicious food for us. I'm going to put all the details and the travel agent's information down below so you can contact them if you're ever travelling there. <laughs> So after a day of basically just lounging around the pool, we headed to Legion Street, which is a street full of clubs. We found our favourites fairly fast and I'm going to keep mentioning their names as we go on in this video. If you have any add-on questions about where to go on your next trip to Bali, you know you can ask me your questions in the comment section below. Same night, we were back at the villa, and some of you might recognize my this friends. This is incomplete from Snapchat. if Aman doesn't reciprocate the same way. Hello from day two in Bali. So somewhere in the middle of lounging around the pool and having delicious seafood, my friends pulled me into the entertainment room, which I forgot to mention earlier for this surprise. If you are really young, um, please tune out of the video for the next few seconds because this is a little explicit. Well, it was a bachelorette trip, so they came fully geared. Hats off to all of them to be able to pull this surprise off. Um, I'm also wondering still how they managed to pack so much without me seeing anything while they were unpacking in the villa um, but it was really sweet of them to do so much and decorate the whole room for me and I can't thank them enough for making this such a special trip for so many reasons and uh, I'm just so grateful that we got to make these memories. Going up to check where these Mehta sisters are, we're waiting for them to step out and while we're here check out the view.
So the night soon turned into the morning. It was day three in Bali. As usual, we started off the day with a whole lot of chilling, which was the perfect way to sort of unwind from the really, really tiring but yet very fun nights. And then we headed off to this place called Kudeta, which was amazing for the sunset. I highly recommend you go and check this one out. So Kudeta was definitely absolutely beautiful. The food was delicious. The sunset here was absolutely amazing. Lots of photos on my Instagram from this place, so make sure you go check that. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough really nice lighting clips to put in this because we were against the light basically the whole time. But trust my word on this, make sure you check this place out. Go look it up on my Instagram feed too. The very next day, Bali day four was basically Gili day one. Now I gotta admit, Going to Gili from Bali was not the most fun thing, maybe because we weren't prepared for the trip to be so long. It took us about three to four hours with the bus ride to the port, and then of course with the around two, two and a half hour long ferry ride. But if you're prepared for it, this trip is actually really, really beautiful. You can go on top of the ferry and kind of get a lot of really beautiful photographs. It's definitely extremely scenic, but I think we were so tired from all the partying the previous couple of nights that we just sort of took this one a little slow. And even Gilly was mostly just relaxed. And almost soon enough, we reached Gilly's Trivangran Island. Now there are three islands in Gilly, and we wanted to go to Trivangran, which is basically the last stop. It's almost like Mathiran over here because there's no cars all over the island. There's only well, you can take cycles or you're on foot, or the most common way of commuting is horse carts. This is actually real fun. Um, the horses were beautiful. The rides were really fun, and we only had to take this twice because we were staying at Ombak Sunset, which was on the other end of the island. Um, so we sort of got cycles for everything in between and apart from that we walked a little bit here and there but we were only here for like two days. Ombak Sunset was a beautiful place to be living at. They had their own beach cafe which was absolutely stunning. Again lots of pictures on Instagram so make sure you guys go check that out. Along with all the other five, six of them. I'm going to scuba dive tomorrow. And I can't believe I signed up for this. Neither can I. Let's hope we don't chicken out after the test run in the pool before the ocean. Cake by the ocean. It's day two in Gili. And it's scuba diving day. So we're going to go have breakfast and then head for some practice. We just got done with practicing for our dive and I think we managed to breathe. I think so. Wait, let's, we let's, only think that. Let's hope we do. <laughs> because yeah. in the next 10 minutes we're gonna go cycle off to the port where we get onto the boat from. The actual dive. And then we do the actual dive. <laughs> See you guys later, hopefully. Bye. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog from there but I'm gonna try. morning in Gili, we're gonna head back to Bali in some time and uh, I'm super hungry so let's go have breakfast. The trip back from Gili to Bali was definitely a lot easier on all of us, mainly baby because we were better prepared for it, we knew how long it was going to be. And here I'm taking you on a room tour of my room at Yupasha Hotel because I forgot to give you one in my villa. <laughs> but it was a nice hotel and if you're looking for something that's affordable, this is definitely a good bet. Right after this, we tried to go shop. Unfortunately, everything was a little too expensive in this area. But we followed it up with a really cool massage because there are so many spa spots in Seminyak. And we landed up at La Favela right after that.
soon enough the trip came to an end just once again i want to say a huge thank you to my friends for making my perfect bachelorette trip come true we had so much fun there are so many wonderful memories we got to create i was so sad while coming back cuz i really wanted to stay in bali for a little more time but i guess all's well that ends well and now there's about two and a half weeks left for the wedding and i'm super excited jared is super excited and honestly we couldn't have asked for more thank you for watching the video make sure you like and hit subscribe see you soon